And this afternoon, we learned the names of those who were killed in the shooting. Eric Graves has those details. 56-year-old Pedro Pineda, 37-year-old Rosa Miriam Rivera de Pineda, and 30-year-old Victor Gomez were all shot and killed yesterday at the Greenwood Park Mall. The chief of police says it began with the shooter leaving the restroom outside of the food court with his rifle and shooting Victor. Police say the suspect then turned his attention to the food court. He then points his rifle into the food court where Pedro and Rosa Pineda were eating dinner. Police say he shot both Rosa and Pedro and then fired more rounds into the crowd, hitting a 22-year-old woman in the leg. A 12-year-old girl was also hit by a bullet fragment in her back. We talked to her mother. All you can see it think of is her spine. It's in her spine. Allison Dick says her daughter Bella was at the mall food court with two of her sisters and her grandma. When the shots began, Bella started running and felt a sharp pain in her back, but kept going. Allison remembers the moment her daughters called her after the shooting. Just hysterical that there's been a shooting, there's a shooting at the mall, there's a shooting at the mall. And it wasn't until Bella got home that her mother noticed this, a fragment of a bullet lodged in her daughter's back. She was quickly taken to the hospital and is luckily expected to be completely fine. We are so, so grateful. <laughs> she says Bella is in good spirits today, but her whole family knows it could have been so much worse. And I feel so horrible for the people that did not get to have their family under their whole roof last night. Allison says she's incredibly grateful to Elijah Dickin, the 22-year-old credited with stopping the shooter. Thank you so much. I mean, he does, he saves countless lives. Going forward, Allison says it's difficult to feel safe no matter where you are. Nowhere is safe right now. It's just, and it's so sad. It's so sad. Allison says despite the physical injuries not being serious, uh, she knows the trauma of what happened at the mall will live with her family. She says they're looking into counseling options to help ease that burden.